Hello YouTube and welcome to Season 2 Episode 4 of the Brim and Grum Let's Play. Um, we've got a whole list of things we need to get done, but I, I want to give you a quick peek at the castle. Um, you can see that the walls have come up and they're, I've really kind of decided they're not tall enough. Uh, which is really bad because that means I also have to tear down these um, supports that I have built. Uh, whose names I have suddenly uh, completely lost in my head. Uh, buttresses, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, the buttresses will also have to be adjusted, or maybe uh, maybe the buttresses just don't go all the way to the top. Maybe the castle wall comes back in some here uh, before it goes further up. So, uh, But anyway, um, some work has been done here. I have flattened this island over here. This is carpet laid out across here. I flattened that island out there. Um, I've got a pretty good uh, paper trade for emeralds somewhere. I think it's actually probably this guy right here. I think there are only two of the uh, sciencey type guys, but uh, I've got a pretty good paper trade. So I surrounded the island with um, sugar cane over there to make paper, and the I think we picked up like two pieces of. Uh, Cactus, maybe from over here. I don't remember from where, but I went ahead and got those planted as well. So there is, let me just, uh, oh, there is one problem. I've also, this was originally uh, came in a little further, but in order to make the approach to the castle wall uh, the way I wanted it to look, I had to bring some dirt out. Now, you see some glass here, and that's because there's a problem with the castle location. And that's the problem right there. I actually died right here. Um, I told you I'm pretty prone to digging straight down and straight up, and I went to was going to consider making this porculus functional, um, which means it would go up and come down. But to do that, I needed to dig some dirt out so that I could bury the uh, redstone wiring. And I stood in one place and dug straight down and fell to my doom right down there. Uh, the good news is I didn't have much in my hands at the time. Uh, the castle is starting to come along. Um, this is our grand entryway. We still don't have a roof of any sort. Um, I, I, I did some decorating stuff. I did some playing. Uh, really probably what I need to do... Let me pause and grab some dirt so we can tower up and you can see this. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we're back. Let's, uh, let's pillar up here. Um, yeah, I just got a bed stuck there so I could sleep at night while working on the castle. Alright, so, um, over here is the first, and this is why I decided the walls aren't quite tall enough, because you'll see that the roof on this second level comes up even with the top of the castle, and, and I don't, I don't like that, but I came in and drew some, um, relatively organic, um, sorts of lines with dirt, and of course immediately grew up in grass, but just to kind of lay out rooms and chambers um, and I, I had to level this whole thing uh, this one you can see where the dirt level was right over there so one two three four five six maybe six or seven blocks maybe that that side I went through on a probably two dozen iron shovels clearing this um, and getting the level down where it needed to be so that it was level with everything else so uh, anyway just kind of drew some uh, rounded shapes in here to represent rooms and uh, laid out the grand entryway there. Um, I've actually, and then I, I came over here and played. I, I went and got, oop, wrong way, the desert's back over there. I went and got some sand and just kind of, I was having a zen sort of moment, so I kind of made a zen water garden thing over here uh, and then just leveled these other pools up and squared them up and replaced their bottoms with sand so that they looked really nice. So. Uh, I'm going to pause right here and just get us down off the tower. As far as the village itself, I don't think, I don't know if the um, shed, maybe I think the shed was here last time. Um, but I don't think much else has changed in the village itself. So hang on just a moment and I'll join you back on the ground. Okay, we're back on the ground. Uh, I thought we'd run around here and uh, take a look at, this is uh, what will be a hallway once it is roofed in. Um... And I forgot that you can't actually get a horse through uh, a gate. So the horse that I've got that's out here is, um, I guess, just going to stay out here. But we're in a 
we're going to put some animals in here now. This will be for decoration only. This will not be functional farming area. Uh, there, I mean, this won't be a sheep farm, pig farm, or anything. That'll actually be underground, almost certainly. But, um, you know, every good castle should have some animal space in it. So, there we go with that. And I really like, this is very expensive wood-wise, uh, but it looks really nice. So, I stuck those in there. Now, um, this room doesn't have a purpose yet, um, and I've really just started laying out rooms. And so, oh, hello! So you decided to come up here, huh? Now this room is what I considered working on today, and you can see this room is quite dark, especially at night. It's very dark in here, um, but everything up here is half slab. So I, I intend to leave this room very dark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a um, Obviously, I'll have to bring the floor up, but I'll build bookcases into the corner here, and then we'll come out uh, to this spot and put in our cra our enchanting table, rather, I say crafting table, and this will become our. And actually, I'll probably I'll probably sink those. The floor is um, actually doubled, so if we look down in the room below us, which is the animals, you'll see that it's got a wooden roof, but up here we've got the um, half slabs so I'll probably sink these down in the floor so they don't they're not up really high because it kind of feels weird that puts the top of these blocks at eye level so anyway this is going to be the enchanting room um, and I think that'll be cool it's kind of you know the dark the place where dark magics happen so um, anyway, so the floor there is the half slabs and then if we come in here you see the ceiling is the wooden half slabs so I kind of like having uh, the extra space that that offers as well. So I've got a whole list of things we need to do. Um, uh, but looking at the, the list of things that we know, we need to get that XP farm started. But really to take advantage of it, we need to go to the nether. Um, because we need to be able to do alchemy. We need to be able to do brewing. Um, and I have gotten some... Try not to run off this time, Mr. Horse. Uh, we need a name for the horse. Somebody uh, somebody, give me a name for the horse. Well, he really needs a name. We need to stop calling him just Horse. So we've got... Um, what did I do with... Uh, what did I do with the obsidian? It really should have been right here. Uh, obsidian. Maybe it's down in the... I may have taken it down in the mine shaft. Oh, but there it is right there. So we've got some obsidian that came out of our uh, mine shaft downstairs. Um, so we could make a trip to the nether, but I'm not sure that I'm really ready for that quite yet. So the XP farm uh, has got some prerequisites we need to deal with. Um, we need to uh, we need an iron golem farm at some point. Uh, I want to build a automatic fishing station at some point. We need slime farms at some point. We still need lots of stuff. But most of it requires us to do something else first. There is, however, one thing that we could go do right now. And that is... Make sure there's nothing... I had a... I don't know where he came from. I had a zombie the last time I came down. He was standing over here in this corner. So he had to have spawned over here. But looking at the light level... Um, BL. Where's block light? It's 11. So he should not have been able to spawn over here. I don't know where he came from. So I've, I've kind of gotten in the habit of the moment I hit the ground, spinning and looking to make sure there's nothing here. So, uh, even though our diamond pickaxe is almost dead, we'll put him away. Uh, I have also done some, you'll see that I've put up some signs, uh, mine shaft and diamonds down here. Um, diamonds, and I think I've hit a slime chunk down here. Um, so there are some signs put up, and, and the reason I have not yet harvested these diamonds is I would like to wait until I have got yeah see there's a whole chunk of diamonds sitting right here I would like to wait until I've got my first enchanted pickaxe and hopefully we can get a fortune pickaxe which would be really great for harvesting those diamonds um, but what I thought we might actually do this episode I've talked a lot about what we could do but I thought what we might actually do I think there's uh, diamonds here diamonds there what was that a creeper uh, we got some diamonds here and then some diamonds down here as well. So we've got some few a few 
common deposits that we're aware of um, that we will err. We will also be fixing these doors. This is not the final configuration for the doors. We will dig down and uh, put some pressure plates here so that they'll pop both these doors open and then we'll put a button on the back that will open both doors at the same time so that um, but I want to do that on camera so I, for now they've just got buttons on the top. I thought what we might do today because we don't have much in the way of expensive stuff we're gonna throw one of the buckets over here because we don't have much in the way of expensive stuff in our inventory I thought we know we've got the abandoned mine shaft right up here right I thought we might go see take a first stab at exploring that um, and find out just how dangerous this space up here is uh, you know what? I came with. You know, we'll just go back and grab the diamond pick. Hopefully, we won't die. Um, we'll grab the diamond pickaxe. We're, we might need a pickaxe at some point. Ooh, a little lag there. All right. Oh, I hear creepy things. Oh, and there he is. Hello. Now come on over. Come on. All right. So, thought we might pop up here. Oh 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 oh! No hitting me in the back. Oh. Oh yeah, I see you coming. Oh, 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 he's stuck in the, uh, that's hilarious. We'll grab the string because we like string. I'm guessing I put this up here at some point. I don't remember doing that, but. Uh, just like in the, um, just like when we were exploring in the caves, torches on right means we're exploring, torches on left means we're leaving. Oh, mercy. And, uh, hmm. Oh, 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 nope, nope, nope. Oh. So dangerous. It is so, like, what are you looking at me for? What did I ever do to you? Like, come on now, whoa, cut it out. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Catch my breath. That was a little scary. Let's see if we can bring the other one over here. Can you see me? I'm looking at you. Hmm. And because I have an addiction to iron, we'll just go ahead and grab these two because iron is iron. We need all of it we can get. We can't just start doing in our really cool builds until we get enough iron. Uh, I probably will not grab coal and the lesser ores while we're poking through this. I'll come back and explore it off camera at some point. We will take every bit of this um, again I probably won't do that on camera this time but um, we will need lots of minecart rails anyway. So we will eventually completely take every bit of uh, minecart rail out of here. Oh. Mm, okay. I was hoping to find maybe a uh, minecart. Minecarts. Uh, we haven't found. Um, yeah, I hear you. Uh, this may be a spawner. We haven't found any. Yeah, I can see the spawner right back there. Let's see if we can get in here and get. Um, let's see if we can get some torches on it. Sounds to me. Oh yeah, I should say. It sounds to me like I got something running up behind me, and I did have something running up behind me. Um, we haven't found desert yet, so we haven't found a place to get. Um, yeah. Oh 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 oh. We haven't found a place to get melon seeds, 
So I was hoping to find a abandoned mine cart in the abandoned mine. Oh, we're going to die right here if we don't get turned around. No, don't do it to me. Okay, we're gonna back off and get something to eat. Oh, come on. I can't, apparently I can't talk and fight at the same time. Where are you? I know there's still one in there. Oh, he's stuck on the corner. Ha ha. No, no, no. Mm. Oh, Lord have mercy, it's dangerous in here. Okay, so that's on the right. On the right. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're just gonna keep exploring for a few more minutes. Now, I always take down um, these torches that come in the caverns because uh, they're generally in places that will mess with my ability to tell where I've been. So, I to hear a skeleton coming. Um, let's see. Left means we're leaving. We've been down there. Let's see if we can't get... Alright, I think that'll stop them from, you know, it won't stop them from spawning, but it will stop them from popping over. Sorry, uh, concentrating here and, oh, oh, no it won't, no it won't, oh, oh, oh goodness. Man, it's noisy in here, scary, scary. Alright. Shoo, now that should stop it. Alright, well let's go ahead and knock this wood out. Yeah, I didn't bring a uh, axe for some reason. I don't know why I didn't bring an axe, but... Man, there are a ton of mobs in here. All I can hear is moaning and growling and... Alright, we'll go ahead and get this last one of those out of there. Now, we have another option for uh, building a mob spot. Is that a creeper right over there? I think so. Alright, still exploring. This just loops back around to where we've been. So I'm guessing, based on just the... the oh my goodness. That's um, crazy amounts of stuff over there. Oh, yep, I see the creeper. Come on, Mr. Creeper. Where did you go? Alright, let's see if we can't. Uh, 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 uh. Die, skeleton, die! Oh, I mean, uh. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if I can. I know there's a creeper down there. I just saw him. Let's see if we can entice him to come our direction. There's not something I normally say. Let's see if I can get a creeper to come my way. Uh, I see more cobblestone over there. I don't know if that's my cobblestone or not. Okay, uh, I really wanted to find that creeper before I went any further. Okay, this is my cobblestone. That's...
but what I don't know is where that creeper went. And I'm oh, no! Found him. Oh, glad I turned around when I did. I did not hear him at all. Apparently, I've got my volume turned down too low. Uh, the good news is he didn't do a lot in the way of damage. Where was he? Up there somewhere, I suppose. Oh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, now again, um, a torch on the ground just means I needed to light up an area. It doesn't imply uh, directionality. So this is just trying to light things up some. Ah, well, this looks like a big bust. Um, except for having another spawner. I mean, we've been through this whole area already. There must be more above or below me. Well, it can't be below me. It must be above me. Oh, uh, yeah. See, there's some more over there. Let's see if we can sneak over. Because there are still... I bet my entity count is still really high if I was to go look. There's still There are still lots of sounds of bad guys. Come on, swim up the... Oh! Um... Um, oh, I can't get up there that way. Hmm. Oh, I can hear another zombie. Okay, so this is left because it's really on the way out. It would have been right coming in. Uh, uh, oh, no. Oh, oh, come on, you piece of crap. Oh, oh okay. Alright. So there is more up here. That's the good news. Oh. I hear bad guys. Oh. 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 Ah! oh what are you hitting me for? Oh, oh, oh. Well, this is kind of odd. Oh, no, not the creeper. Now, what you gotta go and mess stuff up for, creeper mine? No, 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 no! Die! Die! Oh, no, there's another one over there. Oh no, oh here he comes. He was over there, now he's over here. No! No! Is that another spawner down there? I, oh, mm, oh, I, oh, 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 no, no. Let us get ready. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, 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 er, oh, 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 we got to back up and get some food. Okay. Shoo, sorry. All right. So, put some torches in. Where? Uh-oh. Now see, see I did not mark my directionality well enough. Well, I know I can go down, right? I I know that uh 
I know that where I came from. Oh, there is another spider spawner. Holy mackerel. Alright guys, this episode is getting really long. And uh, I'm turning into a big chicken. So I'm probably going to back out of here. I think I came in right over here. Um, so I'm going to cut this episode here. I'll do some more exploring. I was hoping we'd find something really cool right off the bat, but that, uh, that did not turn out to be true. So, uh, I'll catch up with y'all on the next episode. I'll, uh, do some more exploring. I may record part of this in, in high speed, but, uh, we'll see y'all next time. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thanks. Bye. Oh, look here, look at what I see. That is a minecart with a chest. Yes, it is. Now, the bad news is I've been down here and my inventory is almost completely full. So, we may have to wait, make our way out and make our way back in. But, uh, let's we'll see if we can make our way over there. And if we get really lucky, maybe there are some melon seeds over there. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. No, hey, come. Melon seeds, melon, and diamonds. Two diamonds. Oh, okay, so uh, we are going to have to uh, adjust our inventory here, but woohoo, throw a party. Woohoo, throw a party. Woohoo. Throw a party. Alright, guys. Thanks a lot. I'll uh, catch up with Holy you Holy mackerel. So, okay, I came up um, right down here is where I just found that uh, minecart. It's sitting right near, 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 near. Oop. Near, 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 near. It's sitting right down here. Oh, actually, I broke it. It's sitting right there. Uh, I, I broke it to take the stuff out of it. And I came up the stairs. Following, okay, and I forgot to mention uh, previously... Um, so like I want to go back, I was exploring in a particular direction, obviously I've got lots of torches up at this point. This double torch means that this is the direction when I come back in to explore again, I want to follow the double torches down, uh, and I'll pull out the second tor torch as I go. But anyway, I popped across here, and look, there's another minecart sitting right over there. So, um, and this is that room... I mean, we we started off kind of in this area. Uh, apparently, I never came over here though, because I'm pretty sure. Uh, 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 uh. There's another minecart. Oh, and another diamond in it. Oh my goody goodness. Uh, hot diggity dog. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and uh, I guess I should quit saying I'll catch you on the next episode because. It seems like uh, I keep coming back. So, anyway, anyway guys, that should be it. I, well, have a good evening. I, t I said I probably shouldn't have said I was uh, gone for the day because uh, I was making my way back out of here and I actually made a wrong turn because you remember when I came in, I explored around this cavern. This is where those two uh, Endermen were at and then went back up into the caves. So, coming out, I was following this. Uh, and of course I would have to go around the, and you guys may have seen this earlier, but I didn't. When I was down here with these Endermen, there are diamonds right down here as well. We almost missed them. Now, the chances that I'll remember where these diamonds are at is pretty slim, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, harvest these now. Um, just because I don't want to miss them, and I think this is my second or third diamond pickaxe down here, so... Uh, I could absolutely use the diamonds anyway. So anyway, I, I thought I would show you where that was at just in case anybody else is playing along and wants to know where that little patch of diamonds is at. Hey guys, All one right. more quick update. I was out exploring looking to uh, get some cows um, so that I could get bookcases made. And I found right there where that spot, here let me hop off of my horse, right here at this spot I found, oh look, water glitch. I found a pumpkin, so I am standing at uh, negative 1951, negative 645. Uh, if you're playing along and you're looking for pumpkins, there's the first pumpkin. All right, thanks, guys.